Welcome to today's SeafoodNews.com video, sponsored by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute. The import value per pound for U.S. frozen Pangasius fillet imports has reached its lowest level in years, benefiting from record U.S. import levels, along with a decrease in U European imports at the end of 2012. The overseas replacement cost is calculated by dividing the U.S. Department of Commerce's total value of Pangasius frozen fillets by total pounds. According to the most recent calculation, the current replacement cost for U.S. Fro frozen Pangasius fillets is $1.33 per pound, the lowest figure since January 2008 when the price is $1.32 per pound. The decline began in March 2012, following a record year for U.S. Pangasius imports that saw 2011 level totals reach 194 million pounds. The trend continued through 2012, which saw another record-breaking year for U.S. Pangasius imports that totaled 213.8 million pounds. The increase in available product for U.S. importers was also aided by declines in EU demand, the largest market for Vietnamese Pangasius. According to Eurostat, European Pangasius imports fell 22% in 2012 from 403.6 million pounds to 314 million pounds, a difference of about 90 million pounds. This increase in available inventory for U.S. importers not only contributed to a decline in replacement costs, but contributed to near record low prices in the market. Currently, the earner berry price for 3 to 5 ounce frozen Pangasius fillets from Vietnam has remained steady at $1.80 per pound since mid-March. In fact, were it not for a recent duty rate increase that saw an overnight 35 cent per pound tariff increase on Pangasius imports, prices had held steady at $1.70 per pound since December, the lowest quoted price for the item since June of 2010. So, despite a recent uptick in the Pangasius market due to recent duty rate hikes, global inventories remain reportedly strong and have contributed to a five year low in overseas replacement costs for U.S. importers. For a complete look at Pangasius and other aquaculture markets in the U.S., be sure to check out the May 2013 Aquaculture Insiders Report due out this week under the World Trade section in the Seafood tab on Comtel. Today's SeafoodNews.com video was brought to you by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute. Alaska has been protecting wild and sustainable seafood for generations and adheres to the most recognized and internationally accepted set of guidelines written by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. For recipes and additional information, visit WildAlaskaFlavor.com.